I began to learn OpenGL about two years ago. For last two years, I learned Intel TBB, Intel SQL, OpenGL, OpenCL, etc. So, I have learned quite a lot for last two years. When I first began to learn OpenGL, I used OpenGL widget included in Qt Toolkit. Then I have thought I would integrate OpenGL with MFC. Today, I finally succeeded in integrating latest version of OpenGL version 4.6 using OpenGL shaders. Finally, I succeeded Control F5. In this application, if you click this button, Scene, OpenGL version 4.6, Major 4, Minus 6. Click OK. Voila! We have simple triangle. But this triangle is very special to me because I integrated OpenGL latest version. Also, I used OpenGL shader, not fixed pipeline function. This means if we learn OpenGL programming using this book or using this book, we can apply all the things we learn through this book and this book to our MFC OpenGL application. Though this is a simple triangle, it has a lot of meaning. It opens new possibility for MFC and OpenGL integration. For example, our users can write shader code through these editors. For example, these editors, they can write shaders or vertices for our scene. Then we can create a button here, render. If the user clicks render button, their OpenGL code will be rendered in the scene. This opens a whole new possibility. We can also use CUDA kernel. I mean, we can write CUDA kernel or OpenCL kernel code. Then we can create a button here, for example, execute. Then our OpenCL code or CUDA kernel code will be built on the fly at runtime, then rendered in the scene like this. Sadly, we cannot execute two scenes simultaneously. But don't worry, I will fix this issue in the future sessions. By the way, while integrating OpenGL with MFC, I referenced this link. This link gave me some fundamental ideas about OpenGL and MFC integration. Also, I used this link. This is all in Korean. I found a minor problem in this documentation. For example, if you scroll down, you can find setup pixel format this function. In this function, this part of code did not work on my machine. So, I fixed this part. In this case, this is disabled. But I used describe pixel format this function. Then I disabled this part. It did not work on my machine. Instead, I used choose pixel format. If you control click, you can read more about choose pixel format function explained here. Also, you can read describe pixel format using this link. So, I will post this source code in the description below this video.
In this file, screenview.cpp, you can find reference links. If you want to download the source code and try it on your machine, then from my YouTube channel, you need to watch videos in this playlist, especially all the videos starting with episode 67 through episode 73. You have to watch these videos and have followed my previous episode. Then you can have no problem building and running this software on your machine. You can open it. Beginning on my next episode, we will type into OpenGL Programming 9th edition. Also, OpenGL Super Bible 7th edition. We can apply all the things we learn through this book and this book to our OpenGL MFC application. For last two years, I have learned Intel TBB, Intel SQL, OpenCL, CUDA, and OpenGL. I learned all these things for last two years. How come? Because all these technologies are related to each other. Especially OpenCL, SQL are tightly related. Also, OpenGL, CUDA, all these technologies are programming on GPU. If you adopt my studying technique or skill, you can also learn very quickly 